Yeah. There's a corpse there! Welcome back. What news from Ratai? Well, the bailiff read Sir Divish's decree, and now I'm officially bailiff of Pribislavitz. Then allow me to congratulate you. What will be your first step? First, I'll, um... I'll, uh... Hmm. Actually, I'm not quite sure. What would you recommend? As it happens, I already saw a few things in your absence. You might have noticed that the first people have come from a tie. Yeah, I saw some heading here right away. So when they arrived, I was able to start clearing building plots with them. After they'd erected some temporary dwellings, that is. So we're ready to get things started? As long as you know what you want to build, I can show these new people what to do. We'll be building on the sites we've measured out. You can go and look them over first, if you like. I'll do that. I'll see what's going to be built where. Nevertheless, I doubt you'll be able to figure that out just from looking at the sites. How do I choose what to build where? I've already given it some thought on your behalf. I even wrote it all down in the accounts ledger. Everything will be recorded there. I'll make a note of every change as we proceed. Thanks. That'll be a big help. And where can I find this book? It will always be kept at the Rat House. What about the workers' wages and buying materials for artisans? The money must be put in the trunk here. The expenditures for wages and materials will be taken from it. So you should keep it topped up to prevent delays. It reminds me. There's the matter of my own pay to be resolved. Ah, uh, yes, of course. Sir Divish guaranteed me a fixed income. What's more, this job is an exceptionally big one. I see. But how much are you thinking? I have a record of payment here somewhere. Hmm. Here it is. Let's say one quarter more than that. All right. This amount ought to correspond to your work. It seems we understand each other. I agree. Good. I'll put your wages in the trunk, too. Are you sure it's quite safe? Quite. Only you and I shall have a key and access to the trunk. Besides, we'll have guards on watch here. Ah, that's reassuring. That's about all to begin with. If you need any more details, I'll be happy to explain things to you. Could you explain something to me? What are my duties as bailiff? As bailiff, you must see to it that the village grows and prospers. You'll have to resolve disputes between citizens and decide what I should have built. The coin for it will come from your own purse. Basically, You'll have to keep the whole locality under control. But you can't just do whatever you like. You're still answerable to Sir Divish, as am I. Which means... Which means that if the folk here are unhappy, word will soon get to Sir Divish, and he'll put you in your place. So you'd better see to it that there's no thieving, and folk have jobs to do, and their wages are paid. Of course. I'll keep a close eye on things. How do I build houses? First, find out how much it'll cost, and whether the upkeep won't ruin you. Everything is written in the ledger. You can check it all there, or just come and see me. Sure. How do the accounts work? Hmm. The most important thing is to know how much profit your buildings generate, and what they cost to operate. That's written on the very first page of the ledger, which will be kept at the Rat House. Whenever we erect a new building, I record it there. And you'll find all the profit generated by the village in the trunk next to the ledger. And what if we spend more than we earn? Then you'll have to put the amount necessary for covering the operating costs into the trunk. I see. Probably best to have a little extra there for a rainy day then. How do operating costs work? Those are the workers' wages. Costs of material and equipment for tradesmen and so on. And what if I don't have enough coin? Then production will grind to a halt. Watch out for that. Folks soon get grouchy if they're not getting paid. The amount needed each day is recorded in the accounts ledger, too. So you should keep enough in the trunk to cover the wages. And how do I pay the workers? Don't concern yourself about that. 
I'll take care of it. As long as you provide the coin. So I could put enough money there for, say, three days in advance? Indeed. Simple enough, isn't it? All right. Thanks. How can I get new people to come to the village? Don't worry about that. Folk will gradually turn up of their own accord when there are houses for them. Each building can house a certain number of people. The bigger the house, the more inhabitants. And the more space you have for them, the more country folk will come here in search of a better livelihood. What about tradesmen? I can find you fairly competent ones. But if you can get really skilled artisans, it will certainly be a boon for the village income. Although it's not all that easy to get skilled people. You could ask around. I see. Any suggestions? Hmm. You could try asking the two Sassau armourers for a start. They're always at each other's throats, so maybe one of them could work here. But don't forget to get a forge and armoury workshop set up for him. Otherwise, you'll only be wasting his time. Right. I'll go and have a word with them later. I must give some thought to who else would come in handy here. Thanks. How can I improve the buildings? The process is exactly the same as for building from the ground up. We need to have enough coin, materials, and, of course, something to improve. It goes without saying that there's no point in better blacksmith's equipment if you've no forge to put it in. Well, I can't argue with that. But why bother with improvements at all? Because they make it possible to produce better goods that can be sold at a higher price, so we'll earn more money.